All right, well, you have to do something on defense, obviously, with Mark Fain being placed on IR. Are we going to see uh, Dylan Simpson's NHL debut, or do you go to... Well, um, it'll be an exciting night and a great opportunity for him. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, we're, we're, um, our organization's really getting tested right now as far as depth on the blue line goes, but uh, it's much better now than it was uh, a while ago, and uh, that's why it's built that way. So. We expect the uh, the six defensemen to have a real positive impact on the game, the ones that dress, and give us a chance to have success. What kind of a scouting report did you get on Simpson? On Simpson, well, we've seen him enough now, and he's been up with us for about three weeks to know that he's a he's a heady player. He sees the ice while he moves pucks. Um, you know, his downfall is going to be the lack of experience. But anybody that's playing their first game uh, in the league is qualifies that way. So. Um, you know, we have a lot of confidence in him. Last year at training camp, a um, you know, li little bit banged up and didn't really get himself on the map. Uh, this year throughout training camp, he, uh, he found a way to get on the map, and, and we have some, a lot more confidence in him now than we did then. Tom, what do you think of uh, Provera from what you've seen on video? Well, you know what? It's interesting. I can go further than that because I watched him play in junior and um, had a chance to see that Brandon team play in Edmonton twice last year. And uh, obviously smooth, confident, great vision, patience with the puck. Um, so that's, those are his offensive assets. Uh, but he also positions himself well defensively and uh, accepts that responsibility. So in my opinion, for a young D-man, he's, uh, he's um, ahead of a lot of others because he can play on both sides of the puck. Todd, with the back-to-back, -back, logic would suggest you're going to play both goaltenders. Talbot didn't practice yesterday. How do you see it breaking down here in the next uh, two? Gus is going to play tonight, and then we'll figure out tomorrow when we when we get to tomorrow. But the, the, with Dylan playing, you got to jockey all your defense pairs? Or you just, or you well, we're, we have five that obviously have played a lot. Um, I liked our pairings when we were um, consistent, when we... You know, maybe moved one guy in or out because of injuries. Now we're in, we're in flux, but um, um, I actually liked Russell on the right side. I thought him and Sakara were a nice pair. I thought most nights Clef and um, Lars were able to uh, to man the fort fairly well, both offensively and defensively. So we may see those pairs together a little bit more tonight, um, and then work the others through. Um, Benning has been a such a pleasant surprise for our team. The amount of minutes he gets, the the type of production that he gives us within those minutes, um, you know, it's been really good to have him, and we're fortunate. Have you seen from the Flyers right now while they're riding this hot streak? Well, a power play that is deadly, um, and it really hasn't changed. It's just clicking, and they have a couple trigger points. Obviously, Simmons has the most goals in the league, and I think Giroux has the most points. But there's other pieces to that power play that is. Uh, is exceptional. Um, our penalty kill is taking it on the chin, and I had to ask the guys today, is it the penalty kill or the penalties? And uh, in my opinion, it's as much the penalties as the penalty kill, so we've got to stay out of the box. Um, they're a team that's confident right now. They, they uh, feel very good in the offensive zone and make things happen. Their goaltender has been able to make saves for them that, uh, that keep them confident going the other way. And um, just a team that's on, on the rise. Uh, you know what, we need to get through the morning skate. I haven't even put lines up in the room today uh, just to find out where a few of our players are um, with injuries and illness. Your, your team's played really well on the road this season. What, what do you kind of credit that to? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the media. How's that? The media. Uh, no, I... Yeah. <laughs> You know, I don't have an answer for that. I've been asked that question, home record, road record. Um, the difference between road and home, or pardon me, road and road last year and this year, uh, I think we're better equipped to play on the road. We, we're a bigger, stronger, meatier team. I, I don't think teams uh, take liberties or, or anything with our group. And perhaps that sense of security helps uh, a number of our skill players. But... You know, we've also got good goaltending on the road. Our special teams have performed there for the most part. When you put all that together, you tend to win more than you lose. So you still like Pajula with Otter tonight? Uh, well, I, know you're quick, you're I got, I, you know what? 
I'll, how about we have another meeting after all these guys get <laughs> off, and then we'll have. I like Kajula with Connor, but I like lots of people with Connor. So we're, we're if we're if we're uh, if we're healthy and we can put That's lines awesome. together, yeah, I like them there. But there's some decisions that have to be made based on health and uh, and illness. So we'll we'll make those after. Okay.